Hey succulents friends, welcome to my channel. The way to succulents, the way to happiness. One day, one succulents sharing time. And you see, I'm wearing a mask. Yes, because this day six, I'm having COVID. It's not too bad, but my symptom is coughing. Really annoys me. Normally, it wakes me up like a morning call. I have morning cough. Like two a.m., three a.m., and then I just keep coughing. It seems like I'm coughing to get my heart out of my body. That is how bad it can be. <coughs> Excuse me. I wear mask because I don't my husband to get COVID. So whenever I、uh, go out of the room into the hallway, into the living room or kitchen, I will just put mask on. So I'm kind of used to just、uh, wear it、uh, underneath my chin. So whenever I need to put it on, I'll just put it on immediately. Okay, now let's go back to talk about this succulent, and I apologize the other day. Uh, about my succulent hunting video, I did give that succulent a name, and、uh, it's wrong. It's because I did use Google picture identification, and it gave me something、um, is not correct, and then I just couldn't wait to share with you, so I、uh, just used the wrong name. I did some more research, found out ridiculously this is actually a type of. A onion. You can say what? Wait, are you kidding me? In my mind, a onions they are the big rosette one, and look at yours. It's not actually. It's really unique type of a onion. It has almost all the a onions habitats. For example, most like most of them. This is、uh, from Canary Islands, and this is a winter grower, summer dormant plant. And in the summertime, it does give us the beautiful long flower stalk, yellow flower, and it's also a monocarpic succulent. After blooming, like、uh, wherever if it's bloom from this this stem. This stem die out, and、uh, if it's、uh, from here and the, the underneath stem die out, it's not the whole plant die. It just、uh, depends on where it bloom. But we don't need to worry because it does give us a lot of like、uh, offsets、uh, or you know new growth. Especially this one. Look at this one. It's kind of like a little tree from the bottom. From the bottom one stem and it grow with like three. Branches and then it just grow like a little tree. I love this guy because is、uh, the name for it is a onion Aries、uh, bouquet. It's it's kind of like a bouquet if you hold it tight and then shape it a little bit. It's not hardy either. In climate area, is、uh, quite hard to find these succulents. During the last two years.、Uh, Since I started to collect succulent, this is the first time I see this guy. I was surprised when I saw that guy. I was like, "Ah,、uh, is it a succulent or not?" But definitely, it came with a sign to say it's a succulent. So I say, "Oh, okay, let's give it a go." I think someone live in June nine, maybe in the nursery you find this more often than we live like June five. It's not hardy at all, and、uh, don't grow it outside in the winter time. It wouldn't work unless if you want to kill it. Uh, this plant uh, itself, uh, it can grow around eight inches tall, eight inches tall, which is twenty centimeters, and、uh, actually it can grow quite wide. Uh, it is said that it can grow even like twenty、uh, inches、uh, wide, which is around fifty centimeters.、Uh, Across, so some people actually they love this plant for an arrangement. 
you can just、uh, take、uh, one little piece, get it fully callous, and then put it into the gap in between A plant and B plant, and this little gap because you see the little rosette would never take the attention the, from the main plants, so it's really nice. If you grow it、uh, outdoor, you don't need to grow them really close to each other because eventually they will cover a big area. So that's really cool about this succulent. There is one thing people don't like about this succulent: if you touch the leaves, and you kind of feel like, hmm, it's kind of sticky, but This is not bad at all. I have another aeonium. After I touch the leaves, I really feel like I need to wash my hands immediately. This guy, I don't feel like I need to wash my hands immediately. So I kind of like to touch it because it's really, really different from the big rosette succulents. The big rosette one is really tender, smooth, and this kind of like a velvet feeling. You may see there are some like、uh, yellowish、uh, leaves. It's because this guy haven't been watered for a while. I can feel the soil is bone dry, and if that's the sign to tell us like、uh, you need to water me, otherwise eventually they will turn into dry leaves like this. But I will say that again, if you want to. Enlarge your succulent collection. Spring is the best time of year. No matter local nursery or the big box, go and check because they really wholesale from their suppliers. You may find some really special one. Oh, this guy! Look, look at this guy. He really saying like, "I am outstanding." <laughs> okay, sorry, I will take you off. And then get you fully callous and get you repotted. That's the way how is propagate. Okay, thank you for watching my video. Hope what I share is helpful to you. If you like, please give us a big thumb up. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, do it. And bye for now.